So I'm gonna share with you the six pillar exercise that I guarantee you is gonna save your business, gonna make it so that you can have the life that you want, make it scalable, make sure it's profitable. Um, because I'll be honest with you, most people's businesses, if we really looked at it, not from being an entrepreneur, but rather from a, say an investor or even a business owner perspective, be like, whoa, this is kind of going off a cliff. Now, the other thing is, and that's cool by the way, that, that's how most entrepreneurs run their businesses. Um, the, here's the other thing. The six pillar exercise I'm gonna go and bring you through is gonna allow you to get a lot less anxiety, okay? Running a business, a lot of responsibility, a lot of anxiety, a lot of things that are kind of going through your head and um, it can feel like a lot, right? It can feel like you know there's all this weight on your shoulders. And so this exercise that I've done and I've helped build a lot of businesses utilizing this methodology um, and, and, and just like utilizing this in their business as well as helping people that are in Project Nuclear, our seven-figure business accelerator, this exercise really allows them to be able to know exactly what's going on. And the reason it works so well is because it gives them clarity of their problems and challenges. Because like in our business, we're never gonna have less challenges. As we grow our business, we're never gonna have less challenges. We're only gonna have more and more challenges, but if we know what they are and we see them as opportunities and growth opportunities and evolution opportunities, that's really when we're able to grow our business and evolve it and be like, yeah, we are in control of this. So this is gonna be bringing you through the exercise on how to do it for yourself. Um, so you can get out a notepad right now and you know, start kind of writing this down. Uh, and then I'm gonna bring you through exactly the step-by-step -step pieces, uh, parts that you can go and do and how to use this inside of your business on a you know, weekly, monthly basis. So there's six major parts of any, any business. There's marketing, sales, operations and team, client delivery, mindset, and finances, okay? So every single part, every single business is reliant upon and needs to grow, okay? So if your marketing's not working, you're not gonna have any sales. If you don't have any sales, you're not gonna have any client delivery. If you don't have client delivery, you're not gonna have any money, so you're not gonna have a business, okay? If you have marketing and sales that's working, but you don't have the right client delivery and operations and team and culture, then you're gonna sell a bunch of things that you can't deliver on, no one's gonna stay around, and uh, you're not gonna have a business. Um, if, for example, your finances, you bet too big or you spend too much money in one month or you spend too much money in a quarter investing in the actual business, then your business may go poo poo. Uh, if you don't have the right mindset or the right things in the mindset for you being an entrepreneur, by the way, mindset's the largest thing that stops an entrepreneur from actually being able to do any of this, then you're going to sort of stay the same. All right? So I want you to right now to on your notebook, write out these six things, all right? Marketing, sales, operations, client delivery, mindset, finances. I'm gonna get you to do this later. I don't want you to put anything under it just yet, all right? I just want you to understand those are the six pieces, the six pillars of being able to build a multi-million dollar business. Now, here's your homework, okay? Very simple. I want you to disconnect. Now, here is what I mean by disconnection. Entrepreneurs are not good at disconnection, okay? We're always wanting to be a momentum, always moving forward. I want you to realize your job on this planet is not gonna come from you being a human doing, it's gonna come from you being a human being. Okay, there's a reason we are called human beings and most of us are human doings. Okay, so first, I want you to disconnect. What does disconnection mean? Disconnection means no cell phone. Disconnection means no, no music. Disconnection means no messenger, no Facebook, no anything, okay? I want you to get a little uncomfortable with this. Most people do not like to be disconnected. The more disconnected that you are, the better. For this exercise, I do it monthly. I go away for a day. Sometimes I go to Big Sur. Every couple of months I go to Big Sur uh, here in California and I completely disconnect, all right? Most people have the best ideas when they disconnect, all right? Most people have the best, most entrepreneurs have the best ideas, they do the best thinking when they're disconnected from society and disconnected from the identity that they assume on a day-to-day -day basis. That was a very important part that I just said, okay? Disconnect it from your day-to-day -day identity. I'm not gonna go into that too much today, but entrepreneurships are based on adopting new beliefs and new identities, all right? Very, very, very important. Now, you're hanging out, my, my recommendation, and I don't know if you meditate, but if you meditate, I'd meditate for a while, just like write for a while, I would maybe read for a while. But the idea here, you wanna be relaxed, okay? So you want your nervous system 
to be relaxed. So, you know, a really good way to disengage your nervous system, close your eyes and just listen around what's around you for two or three minutes, okay? You know, pay attention to listening what's around you, allowing, you know, your nervous system really to kind of recenter. You know, going from your feet to your head and thinking about every single part of your body going up, okay? So you want to get out of the day-to-day -day moment and you want to get into the moment you are in, right? Being present. When you are present, I want you to start brain dumping every anxiety, everything that's broken in your business, everything that is not the way that it should be, okay? Now, you can brain dump it in the categories or you can just brain dump all your anxieties in one page and then in the other page, you can brain dump essentially all of your actual problems, okay? So I did this one time, I remember doing this on my birthday, okay? Uh, this wasn't that long ago, this was about a year ago now, and a uh, year and a half ago. And on this brain dump, I had 67 anxieties, okay, 67 anxieties, everything from the economy crashing, the internet, uh, you know, getting turned off by the government, all kinds of different types of things, okay, some, some big, some small. Feels like a lot, okay, feels like a lot. It's going to feel like a lot, all right? If you put all your anxieties out on paper, it's going to feel like a lot. If you put all your problems out on paper, it's going to feel like a lot. But I guess, guess what's going to be even more a lot if you don't know what they are? The reason most entrepreneurs make terrible decisions is because they do not have the information they need or they're not listening to the feedback of that information that they have. Next thing I want you to do, I want you to map out, I want you to put every single thing under that category and I want you to start circling, all right? Maybe a different color or whatever it might be. I want you to create a seven day plan I want you to create a 30-day plan and a 90-day plan, all right? So you're gonna create a, s a scenario where here's the, what I'm gonna fix in the next week, here's what I'm gonna fix in the next month, here's what I'm gonna fix in the next 90 days, and then there's gonna be a bucket list, all right? So you're gonna have the bucket list, and anything that you can't solve in the next 90 days, you're gonna put in it. You're gonna be like, you know what, I can't solve this. I can't, you know, it might be the fact, I can't solve the fact that there's not enough money in my bank account right now, I just gotta keep going. It might be what, you know, I, I need to have a CEO in my business, but I can't afford them. Well, you know what, maybe you can't, you can't afford to do that right now. Maybe that's 90 days from now, or 180 days from now, or two years from now, okay? Hopefully you're still following this. So the next thing I want you to do, if you have a team, I want you to bring this back to them, okay? I want you to bring this back to them, and I want you to bring them through it. Okay, and I want you to bring this exercise. There's two parts of this. One is saying, here's the exercise, here's why we're gonna use it, you can share this video with them. This has to become part of your team's job to see all the issues and to be able to essentially come and on a monthly and quarterly basis solve all the problems, okay? So your new job is being able to go back to them, say, here's what I see, what do you guys see? Take three days, come back, let's have a meeting, and let's see, and let's, I have my 7390, I want all your guys 7390, um, okay? So here's, here's the cadence you wanna go with. Every single, depends on your situation, I do it every 30 days, um, my business is a little bit more stabilized than perhaps where you're to at the moment, but every, when, it, when it wasn't, every seven days I would sit down and I would go through this. Every 30 days with my business, I would go through this. And essentially, this is always gonna be a moving target. There's never gonna be a day where there's nothing, nothing that needs to get better, okay? Business is about solving, solving issues. And then you just need to go and do that. And this is, this is scaling. This in of itself is scaling. This is business scaling right here, right? You can have all the strategies, all the pieces, all the different things inside. So why does this work so well? That's the exercise. That's, that is the multi, I guarantee you, you do that over and over and over again you will become successful. It's impossible to do this and not become successful. People, aka entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs are not successful because they put themselves in a place of blind spots. The more blind spots you have, the worse decisions you make, and when you make worse decisions at the wrong time, you screw up. So why does this work so well? It gives you clarity, it gives you a look at your blind spots, it gives your team the ability to see what's on your mind, it gives your, you the ability to see what's on your team's mind, and it gives a level of here's what we're doing, here's our next moves, I know we wanna do this, I know we wanna do that, but what's in front of us right now that we have to take care of? Doesn't matter if it's finances, doesn't matter if it's mindset, whatever it might be. And from there, the beauty is you can go and figure out how to fix it. So you got the tools to be able to do this seven figure plus assessment yourself. 
If you'd like our help, we have two things. First, we have an assessment where we bring you through just under 90 questions and we actually assess your business on top of your own assessment. Okay, so the link below is for that. This is super, super impactful if you're looking to build a multi-million dollar business and you're like, you know what? I feel like I miss, I feel like I got some blind spots. I feel like I need some advice. I feel like I need some help. So go take a look at this. If you're over $50,000 a month in your online business and you're really wanting to scale up, go take a look, the link's below. Go take a look at Project Nuclear. There's an amazing training there. There's some really, really good resources and this is our program. This is our accelerator for people and entrepreneurs, well, entrepreneurs are people, but entrepreneurs that are scaling multi-million dollar businesses and we actually help you scale, help you fix all the problems that you see in the business on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, and we bring you through the steps of being able to build that multi-million dollar business. So that's it. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. This has been featured on Entrepreneurs, this has been featured on Forbes, this has been featured and downloaded and seen so many times. And I wanted just to give you a quick video on exactly how to implement this on a week by week basis, month by month basis. You do this, your entire business is going to change.